location for these railroad repair facilities was Company Shops, now known as Burlington, North Carolina. These dated to the 1850s as part of the North Carolina Railroad. When Southern Railway was formed from the Richmond and Danville in 1894, Samuel Spencer, the new president, wanted a new facility built halfway between Washington, D.C. and Atlanta, Georgia. Senator John Henderson of Rowan County noticed that was right in the middle of his district. He arranged for the Southern to acquire 144 acres of land, which became the repair facility, the town of Spencer, and the town of East Spencer. Before 1896, this area was nothing but woods and farmland. Construction soon followed, and the facility was up and running by the early 1900s. Spencer Shops, so named after the railroad president Samuel Spencer, went on to become the largest steam locomotive repair shops on the Southern Railway. Shop personnel eventually swelled to approximately 3,000. There were some interesting differences between railroad workers and textile mill workers in this part of North Carolina. A mill worker generally lived in a company house, shopped at the company store, and made less money than comparable railroad jobs. Rent, utilities, and store items were garnished from their wages. On the Southern, though, employees living in Spencer owned their own house, shopped in publicly owned stores, and enjoyed higher wages. Railroad jobs were hard to come by which led many employees to work 30 to 50 years before retiring, and many families had several generations working at Spencer Shops. Over time, Southern began to feel the effects of the high maintenance costs of the steam locomotive. Other, cheaper forms of transportation were explored. In the late 1930s, EMD, a division of General Motors, began building diesel locomotives. EMD sent out a set of diesels to several railroads for product testing. Southern purchased the demonstrator set and towed the dispenser behind a steam engine in 1941. From that time until 1953, Southern would slowly replace its aging steam locomotives with newer, more cost-efficient diesels. Portions of the shops were converted to perform repair work on diesels, but by 1960 had outlived their usefulness. A majority of the buildings would lay dormant until 1977 when Southern deeded four acres of land to the state of North Carolina for a transportation museum. Two years later, another 53 acres would follow. The first exhibit, the Master Mechanics Office, opened in 1983. The Flu Shop opened in 1990. And the third exhibit area, the Roundhouse, opened in 1996. side of the train is the roundhouse. The current roundhouse has 37 stalls and was built in 1924, replacing an earlier 15-stall building from 1896. Today, this is the largest remaining operational roundhouse in the United States. Locomotives would use the turntable to enter or exit the building as needed. Three shifts worked at the roundhouse, allowing for 24-7 operation. A steam locomotive could only remain inside for three days' work, which usually involved replacing tires on steam locomotive drive wheels, repair to air pumps or valve gear, or any other small defects. The building was restored for the public in 1996. Turntable rides are available for $1 per person. You can purchase those tickets inside the roundhouse orientation room.